Anything But With Kumar De Silva, sponsored by LICC Jeans, is today at the lab, at the lounge and bar at the Hilton Colombo. And I'm really, really very happy to interview a fellow Wesleyite. I knew him very well from school days. His brother was my classmate. But all of you know him as Alston. Alston? Hi. Alston, Hi. cock, kosh or coke? Which variation do you choose? Uh, uh, anything you like. <laughs> I've been used to be called all sorts of names, so uh, it doesn't really matter. Now, as a child, wasn't your surname embarrassing? Were you, were you poked fun at? Of course, yeah, with a name like, at that time uh, in, in Sri Lanka, uh, it was pronounced cock. Yes. So uh, you have the usual uh, little things that tag on to your name. Oh, sure. And um, luckily I had uh, family before me and uh, family after me, and cock is a name that's uh, fairly uh, used in Sri Lanka because it's a recognized family name. Sure. So um, I didn't have as much as I would have uh, uh, would like to say that it bothered me, but yeah, it was it was it was quite fun actually. Alston, take us back to Naval, a Temple Road Naval, where you yeah. grew up with your parents, your yeah. two brothers, and your sister. What was life like at that time? Your rusty old bicycle. Oh, it was. Uh, what can I say? A Naval today is like. Uh, uh, I'm told the Colombo 7 of uh, yes. the new suburban uh, yes. uh, Colombo. But, but what uh, was your Narvala like? My Narvala, well there was a lake flowing down besides our home and uh, as a little boy I used to swim in it. Really? Uh, today I'm told you better not. Yeah, that Ella that used to go down. Uh, yeah, yes. yeah. And uh, right across from the lake was a temple. It's still there? Uh, it's still there, it's which still there. my father helped build actually when okay. I was a kid. He, uh, my father, although he was a Christian, he believed a lot in the philosophy of Buddhism. So uh, I was uh, welcome there all the time, and I was actually taught by the by the high priest of the temple. Alistair, to the single Pulwan near? Pulwan, yeah. Pulwan. So this is this Kalupahalam, I think, right? Right. The one there. Yeah. Uh, what was school life like? Where's the college where you went, where your brother was my classmate? Yeah. What's your best memory oh, of school? Oh, it, 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 was, it was fantastic. My, my younger days at college uh, was always exciting. Um, you I, know, this guy was always first in class. <laughs> he was always first in class. And Thank you. Um, yeah, I, I enjoyed, but I had a lot of discipline implanted in me by my parents. So I wasn't allowed to get involved in sports and I was not allowed to get involved in music. Music? Okay. Yeah, yeah, and like anything else, when you're not allowed to do things, you, that's exactly what you want to do. You were a chorister. Yeah, I was a chorister. How but good I was, a chorister were you? I wasn't a good chorister. Why? I mean, um, but my, you sing, you sang, you sing. Yeah, at, at that time, I wasn't really developing my voice, so to speak, because my parents wouldn't allow me anywhere close to a piano or to a guitar. Oh, God. Uh, they, wanted, <laughs> they wanted me to be an academic, but... Uh, um, such is life, you know. So I, I could not, and would not say I was a good chorister. I was, I was uh, okay. I was okay, but there were much better choristers than me. There was, I can, as I can remember, there was Shane Lawrence with a golden voice, and then there was Ranjan Kaunarat, and a lot of, lot of other classmates and other colleagues. There was uh, the Nimal Surawiras of this world, and uh, my cousin Neville Cock, and then lots of other great voices in the choir. What about sports in your life? School sports. I was only allowed to watch sports. Oh no, really? Yeah, I... The I, Park matches. Yes, th those were a dream uh, in those younger days, which I think is missing greatly. Because I happened to walk past some of the grounds, the school grounds, and uh, but for the Royal Thormian cricket matches, all the other games seems to be very, very, very mildly taken by school boys as well as the public. Uh, even just the day-to-day -day matches like Take for example, St. Joseph's versus Wesley or Royal versus Trinity. I the mean, non-big matches. Yeah, yeah they, were, they, were, they were like house full, you know. Now, All Saints College being the closest girls' school, yeah. was that a point of attraction for you across the Campbell Park? Yeah, my friends will tell you and um, <laughs> I think my family knows as well that I was never a, uh, never a girls' man. I, uh, okay. I was never interested in girls. Uh, nor was I interested in boys, but uh, <laughs> you to add that as well. but, yeah. <laughs> but um, like I said, I had a code of discipline in me at the time, which I'm thankful for. I'm still very much a teetotaler, 
So uh, I noticed. Yeah, I, I don't drink, I don't smoke, uh, which are which are which is helping me a lot. Your wife Yolande Ali yeah. was a Miss Ceylon. Yes. And she represented Ceylon at three pageants. Yes. Yes. She uh, she was uh, uh, a Miss Ceylon chosen to represent World. Ceylon in the Miss World at Royal Albert Hall in London and the Miss Universe in Long Beach, California, and also the uh, Miss Young International, which was like, a, like an Asian beauty pageant. Are you proud of her or is she proud of you? Uh, I'm very proud of her, yeah. Nice I don't nice. know if she's proud of me, but um, she, she uh, well, what can I say? She belonged to a very uh, devout uh, and recognized uh, Muslim family here, the, the, the TB Jaya family yeah. and the uh, father's TB Jaya. So um, it wasn't easy uh, to date um, the granddaughter of TB Jaya. Yeah. But despite the fact that he was Cock. Yeah, and uh, I was just Alison Cock then, just mm -hmm. a singer in, in a group called the Jetliners, but uh, didn't mean anything to them or to anybody else for that matter, or for that matter, even the world. Uh, so, You're proud uh, of your children? Yes, of course. Yeah, James is doing very well. My, my daughter's uh, done a little bit and now she's uh, a housewife and uh, doing her own thing. Do you miss your rice and curry or do you oh. get loads of it back home? I am very thankful because I get it all the time. Your wife cooks? Yeah, she cooks and she's a, she's a, she's a if I can use a four letter swear, swear word, she's a damn good cook. So uh, yeah. I'm blessed I have all those facilities and my friends will tell you that that's, that's all I have. Uh, a Sri Lankan diet, uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You know. Alston, one day down the line, how best do you think you want to be remembered? Many, many, many years later. Well, I am. Uh, they pointed the finger at me that I was one of the inaugural um, people to get involved in the environment and the changing environment and the climate change and. And, and uh, particularly the currently the, the, the use of plastic. So um, I'll probably be remembered for my um, that. my yeah my for, for for what I'm doing is climate change, but not forgetting that I've also been involved in in, in the music side of things and uh, recorded for international recording labels overseas. Um, like I've recorded for RCA for 17 years, uh, EMI. We talk about Alston the singer yeah. in our next sequence. Yeah. But this is all about Alston, the bio data part yeah. of Alston. Yeah. Right, Alston, nice talking to you. Uh, he does a quick co uh, costume change and we meet you on sequence. Why anything but Kumar is about with my old school friend, your superstar, Alston Cobb. Catch you soon, Thank Alston. you. Thank you.